Also, magicians have been using life force throughout the millennia. Apparently, they never became aware to the principle of negative entropy, at least as, as much as I know. And this is quite amazing because negative entropy is a characteristic of life force, which makes magic work. Perhaps the reason for this unawareness is another important characteristic of life force, namely that it, its transfer follows structural connections, structural links. And from this structural transfer, I explained that before, and the principle of reversed entropy, negative entropy, follows that we can direct life energy with our minds. And at this point it becomes necessary that we begin with some practice, technology, which involves life energy. And uh, we do this practice with technological tools as well as with our minds and uh, basic technological tools are very easy to build. For instance, we can make an organ accumulator and we can structure it according to some traditions as a magical wand. And uh, so it's, uh, for some of you, maybe your first, uh, let's call it magical tool. And this will be a simple organ accumulator or an accumulator of life force. And later this organ accumulator, life force accumulator can double as a magical wand. In the case you want to practice magical technology within the context of traditional methods. What you need is a copper tube, brass tube or other metal tube, can be uh, uh, iron tubing too about a foot long and a half an inch to one inch in diameter. Second thing, aluminum duct tape, that's a metal, <laughs> the metallic part, and then ordinary duct tape which is a, either plastic or paper. Take the tube and wrap it with one layer of plastic duct tape, follow with one layer of aluminum tape, then with plastic and so on until, until you have maybe seven layers if you like to, or the some of them I, that I have made in the old times had up to 20 layers. The outermost layer is uh, organic, of course, so plastic or paper, paper tape. And if you want to make it look nice, cover the whole wand with some leather or with vinyl. For uh, the experiments and practices which follow, looks are totally relevant. What counts is that it works. Alternatively, uh, instead of those layers, you can use one or more layers of organite. And to make this, you get a little bit of metal powder in an art supply store. Most art, good art supply stores have metal powder. And mix it with latex paint or with epoxy. And paint the metal tubing with one or several layers of it. 